available to verify compliance with all the steps. Ensure that all the needed supplies are available. Prepare for the donning of PPE. Remove jewelries and contents of the pocket. Secure the hair. Inspect PPE items prior to putting on. Ensure that all items are in good working condition. some instruction for the trained observer. Review the steps with the healthcare worker before beginning the doning process. Using a checklist and in a stepwise fashion, read the doning sequence to the healthcare worker. Put on boot covers. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow it to dry before moving on to the next step. Put on inner gloves. Put on the coverall or the gown. Make sure that it is large enough for free movement. Make sure that the cups of the inner gloves are tucked under the sleeves of the coverall. Zip up the coverall. Make thumb holes at the border of the cups and sleeve using a scissor. Put on N95 respirator. Cap the respirator in your hand with the nose and the fingertips. Position the respirator under your chin with the nose piece up. Pull the strap over your head, resting it high at the back of your head, and pull the bottom strap over your head and position it around the neck below the ears. Mold the nose piece to the shape of your nose. Pinching the nose using one hand may compromise the respirator's performance. Inhale deeply and feel the respirator slightly being sucked in and exhale sharply and feel the respirator slightly bulge. Put on hood and make sure that the hood covers all of the hair, ears, and neck with no skin exposed. Put on outer apron and tie it with a simple knot for easier removal. Put on outer gloves and make sure that the cups are pulled over the sleeves of the gown or the coverall. Put on face shield or goggles. Let the train observer check the worn PPE, making sure that all parts of the skin are covered. All areas of the body should be covered during the range of movement and the healthcare worker should be able to bend the arms, the wrist, and do range motion. PPE should be taken off in a designated PPE removal area wherein there is a high risk zone and low risk zone. Put all PPE in a leak-proof bag for infectious waste. Dove only with the supervision of a trained observer. Single-use face shield and disposable mask. Cover all or a single-use fluid-resistant gown that extends below the knees. Single-use double gloves with extended cups and at minimum outer gloves should have outer cups. Single-use fluid-resistant boots or impermeable boots. Instructions for the trained observer. Remind the healthcare worker to avoid actions that may put them at risk. Example, touching the face. Read aloud each step of the procedure. Let the healthcare worker repeat back the step they are performing. Confirm visually that the PPE has been properly doffed. Minimize touching the healthcare worker or his or her PPE during the process. 
If contact with the healthcare worker is made, the trained observer should immediately disinfect the outer glove hands with alcohol-based hand drop or 1 is to 10 bleach solution. Inspect PPE for visible contamination or tears. And in case of visible contamination, use 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant to wipe it off. Disinfect outer gloves and use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol based hand rub. Inspect the PPE again and assess for visible contamination or tears. And if visible contamination, disinfect with 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant wipe. Disinfect outer gloves and use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove boot covers and use a hand-free approach by stepping on the back of the cover and lifting the foot. Disinfect outer gloves and use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol-based hand rub. Be careful not to contaminate the inner gloves when removing the outer gloves. In case of contamination or tears, disinfect and remove the gloves and do hand hygiene on bare hands and put on a new pair of gloves. And use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove goggles by lifting the back of the strap over your head, pull out and away. Avoid touching the front surface of the goggles. Disinfect inner gloves and use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol-based hand rub. Unfasten the hood if applicable and grasp the back of the hood and carefully remove by pulling backwards. Do not touch the inside of the hood. Disinfect inner gloves and use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove cover all and avoid contact of scrubs with outer surface. Lift your chin. Find the zip at the level of the belly and carefully trace your fingers up to the zip tab and fasteners with one hand. Hold the top of the cover all with the other hand and unzip or unfasten completely before rolling down and turning inside out. Avoid contact of scrubs with outer surface of the cover all and touch only the inside of the cover all. the inside of the cover all when rolling it prior to disposal. Disinfect inner gloves and use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove and discard gloves taking care not to contaminate bare hands. Perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub. Put on a new pair of gloves. Tilt the head slightly forward and grab the bottom tie or elastic strap. Then grab the top tie or elastic strap. Remove without touching the front of the respirator and then discard it. Disinfect the glove using a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or alcohol based hand rub. Disinfect washable boots and sit on a clean surface. Starting at the top and finishing with the sole, wipe down the external surface of the boot. Use a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant. Set down the newly clean boot in a low risk zone. Disinfect and remove the gloves by using a 1 is to 10 bleach disinfectant or alcohol based hand rub. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol based hand rub. Inspect for any contamination.
reminders after the removal of PPE. A healthcare worker can wear the dedicated washable boots and surgical gloves in the low-risk area. Healthcare workers entering high-risk area should shower or at least change clothes when leaving the low-risk area. Clean the floor of the PPE removal area with disposable clothes soak in one and solution after PPE removal is complete. For breaches in PPE, wash the skin with soap and water, irrigate mucous membrane with copious amounts of water or eye solution, and report the incident immediately.